here thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial a couple of weeks ago I made a video making a makeup bag with the Cricut faux leather and I used my sewing machine and put a zipper in it and I had a lot of requests asking how to make the bag if you do not have a sewing machine so I challenged myself to come up with a no sew zipper pouch and I added some fringe to this one just for fun but you can eliminate the fringe and just make the plain bag and then put your Cricut iron on or HTV on top of it if you do I used the setting of 305 on my heat press I would use probably a cotton setting on an iron and I pressed it for about 10 seconds removed the carrier sheet and pressed it for another five seconds so if you want to add the iron on that's what you would do for that but for this tutorial we're gonna make the bag okay so here we are in design space I am using design space 3 the beta version if yours looks a little differently you're probably using design space 2 and if you'd like to try out 3 I'll have it linked below the video but either way this is going to work basically the same we're going to go to new project by clicking right here and then we're going to go to upload you're going to click upload image and you can drag and drop it right here or you can click browse and navigate to where you saved the file I like the drag and drop method so I saved it to my desktop it's right here I'm just going to drag it over and let go of my mouse here we can tag this I like to tag it as many things as I can think of I'm gonna put makeup makeup bag pencil case zipper pouch anything that will make it easier for you to find it later and we'll click save it'll be the first item right here in your uploaded images you're going to click on it and click insert images you're going to notice the first thing that it has the SVG by Lori Nunemaker you obviously don't want to cut that so you're just going to turn the eye off by clicking right here in the layers panel on the eye next to that blue layer and then I want to cut mine out in a sort of a champagne colored faux leather it's by Cricut and I'm just gonna choose this that's pretty close and I'm going to click off of it and I want to cut both pieces in the same color so I can go right up here to the color sink in the upper right corner click on that and just drag that pink layer up to the champagne because I want to cut it all in the champagne color and that's all there is to it this is size for an 8 by 5 bag approximately if you want to make it bigger feel free to do so but you'll want to resize it before you ungroup it so we're going to go back over to the layers panel and while this is selected I'm just going to click ungroup and the only reason I'm going to do that is because design space is going to put this as close together as it can on the mat to save the most material so I'm just going to let it do that now if you want you can duplicate this right now because you're going to need two of these so we could actually let's select both and just click duplicate we're gonna need two of the squares and we need two of the fringes if you want the fringe on both sides of the bag now if you want you can turn the fringe off if you don't want to cut the fringe and you just want to make the bag so that you can put some heat transfer vinyl on this or Cricut iron on you can totally do that just click on the fringe and turn it off by clicking on the eye but for this video we're going to make the fringe bag so we're going to click make it and you can see we can get the two squares on one sheet and we can get the two fringes on another sheet in this size and that's perfect so we'll click continue we're going to select our Cricut device you're going to put your smart dial on custom you're going to click change material right here and go right up here and look for the L's it's in alphabetical order and choose leather faux Cricut now before you put this in your machine I want to give you one little hint using the leather um, I highly suggest using the strong grip mat if you don't have the strong grip mat use the green mat but make sure it's a very sticky one and even with the strong grip mat after cutting several pieces of leather um, just as I've been playing around my mats not quite as sticky as it was so I highly recommend taking a piece of masking tape or washi tape or something and putting it along this top edge and that just keeps the machine from accidentally 
rubbing up against that leather if it's not stuck down real well and pulling it up and getting it caught in your machine. So that's just a little tip from me. It's not something that Cricut recommends or that's required, but for me, it helps to tape that top edge down just to make sure it doesn't accidentally get caught on the needle or the carriage going back and forth. So cut these out and I'll show you how to put this together. For this project, in addition to your pieces you cut from Cricut, you're going to need a glue gun and a 9 inch zipper. And then I called my friends at Thermoweb and asked them what can I use to hook the zipper to the leather without sewing. And Julia recommended this Fabric Fuse Quick Bond and this is amazing adhesive. When I was on the Thermoweb design team, I loved this adhesive even for my paper projects. So the first thing we're going to do is apply adhesive across the top of one of our rectangles. You want to be generous with the adhesive. Uh, this is not a case to be sparse with it. You, the, you need a lot of adhesive to make this adhere well and to last. Once you have the adhesive applied, you're going to line it up with your zipper right at the zipper pull and you actually want to go just above the end of that zipper pull on the as you're looking at the screen it would be on the right side and you're just going to line that up and press it down and let it hold and then you're going to do the other side and then this is the hard part put a ruler across it or a book or something to hold it flat and walk away and you need to let this sit for a couple of hours I'm just rolling this up to keep it from bubbling up but you want to put the adhesive on both sides and then put something flat over it and walk away for a couple of hours and let this dry and you can see here I went ahead and did both sides and again I'm just pointing out that you put the leather lined up just outside the edge of that zipper pull now put the rulers on there or a book or whatever you're going to use and walk away let this dry for a couple of hours it's very important you want to clean out the nozzle on this fabric fuse glue as well and make sure you cap that up okay it's been a couple of hours and this is still not completely dry but it is dry enough that we can begin to finish off the bag so what we're going to do to complete this bag is adhere the two leather pieces together by folding the wrong sides together so the wrong sides are touching and just lining it up now before we adhere this we're going to cut off the end of the zipper and just cut that flush with the edge of your leather and I wouldn't use your good fabric scissors for this um, but your regular scissors should cut right through it make sure you don't unzip it yet because we need to put something on the end there to stop that zipper from flying right off and on the opposite end you want to like I said you want to make sure that that leather was placed before the end of those zipper stops so that the zipper will stop on this end I want to put a little disclaimer in here somebody's going to ask why not use hot glue you can use hot glue and it's much faster however I did not like the way the hot glue dries it dries very stiff and it makes the bag kind of just look kind of wonky and cheap I didn't like the way the ends finished the fabric fuse is very pliable it's very flat you can't tell that there is even glue in there the edges are totally finished off and the bag moves as if there were no adhesive in there so if you want to use hot glue go ahead I highly recommend the fabric fuse okay now we need to finish off the end of that zipper and I've cut a piece of leather that is about a quarter inch wide by one inch long and what I'm going to do is fold this in half and adhere it with the glue gun. Just fold it right in half, a little bit of glue. And this is going to become our zipper stop. Now I'm going to apply just a dab of glue right there at the end of the open end of the zipper, right on top. And I'm going to put that little tab just about halfway over the edge. Just like that. And then I'm going to turn it over and adhere the, the tab that's sticking out. I'm just going to fold that over and adhere that inside. And this is just going to keep our zipper from flying right off the end. And this works very easily for a zipper stop. I'm trying to keep this all a no-sew project. So there we have it. 
Okay, now it's time to put the bag together. And like I said, you could use your hot glue gun and go around the edges. I just don't like the way the finished edge is. I really like this Fabric Fuse by ThermoWeb. I will have this linked in the product list below the video in the video description. You're just going to go around the edges and you want to put a generous amount on here. It doesn't have to be ridiculous, but you don't want to be stingy either. This is going to hold the bag together. So just go around those edges, add the glue. I like to just add it to one half and then fold the other half on it. Make sure you line up those edges and kind of run your fingers along the side and you can see how nicely the seam comes together. There is no bulk in there that you would get with a glue gun. Once you have your edges together, you want to use a binder clip or clothespins. I have these little, I think they're called wonder clips. Just something that you can put along these edges and again, make sure you don't have any gaping holes and just clip your edges together. And again, once you have this all clipped together, you're going to walk away and let this dry for a few hours. Um, I did this throughout the day yesterday, just in different stages. So the longer you let it dry, the better and 24 hours to let it secure. Just leave it like this for a couple of hours. Don't mess with it. Don't touch it. Okay, it's been a couple hours and here is the finished base bag. Now you can stop right here and add your HTV if you just want a plain makeup bag or a plain tote bag. This is where you would stop. You don't have to add the fringe, but I think the fringe is a fun touch. So if you would like to add the fringe, keep watching and we're going to add that. I find it easiest to put some kind of grid underneath your work surface when you're going to add the fringe. That way you can keep your bag lined up. I'm going to line up the top of the bag with the two inch mark and that way I know the bag is totally straight. Now when I put my fringe on, I like the fringe to hang off the bottom by about a quarter of an inch. It's up to you. You could make it totally flush if you want. I just like the fringe sticking off of the bottom. You could put it all the way up like this or even all the way up to the top, whatever you like. But I like the fringe just hanging off a little bit from the edge of the bag. And then we're just going to use the fabric fuse and place the fringe right on there. And again, you want to be kind of generous with the fabric fuse. If you get any oozing out of the side, you can just wipe it off before it dries and it's no problem. And you're just going to line that up on your bag where you want it. And again, I find having a grid so you can keep the bag straight helps a lot. Just hold it in place for a moment. And then turn it over and repeat the process on the other side. You want to make sure both sides are lined up. And just add that fringe to the other side. And then you just want to put a ruler or a book or something over it and let this dry overnight for best results. Once you let it dry overnight, this thing will be ready to go. It'll be very sturdy and I think you're going to enjoy it. Hi there, I thought you might want to see what the bag looks like in person. And this is about the size. This is eight inches by five inches. And here is the cute fringe. How fun is that? And I added the fun little tassel from my tassel video. I'll have that linked. And instead of finishing the top of the tassel off with um, another piece of leather, I used some fun washi tape. But this is really cute. I thought you might want to see what it looks like in person. This is another one that I made and this was just my prototype when I was testing out the file to see if it would work. And again, I think it's real fun. This one I think looks a little more casual. This is in the faux wood grain leather. And this one is in, I think it's like a champagne color. And the other thing I wanted to show you, this was my little test run using hot glue instead of the fabric fuse. And I don't know if you can see that, but the edges are just 
I don't like the way the edges look with the glue. And the bag is real stiff. You can feel the glue on the edges, whereas this one where I use the Fabric Fuse, the edges are finished and it's very pliable. You can't feel any adhesive in there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will have a link to the cut file for this fringe pouch in the description below this video as well as a link to all the products I used. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.